I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Anthony Mary Clara. Um, Bishop, missionary, writer, weaver, all kinds of things. I'll tell you a little more about him later. Uh, but as we begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament. Looking back at our daily lives, we find moments of grace, and so we offer God thanksgiving. We seek God's forgiveness for the times we've been sinners. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to cause sinners redemption. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you flee for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the evangelization of people strengthened the bishop, St. Anthony Mary Claret, with admiral charity and long suffering, grant through his intercession that seeking the things that are yours, we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters for Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, Forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not be even mentioned among you as is fitting among holy ones. No obscenity or silly or suggestive talk which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. Our response is behave like God as his very dear children. Like God. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Behave like God as his very dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Behave like God as his very dear children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chafe which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Behave like God as his very dear children. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is true. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath. And a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, 
Does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Anthony Mary Claret uh, was a 19th century uh, person. He was a Spaniard, uh, although uh, he might have said he was Catalan. He was, uh, he was from the Catalan uh, region of uh, Spain, a little town outside of Barcelona. Uh, his father had a uh, uh, was a manufacturer of wounds, and uh, he himself, in his adolescence, um, trained in that. He uh, taught himself to be a weaver, or went and did an apprenticeship doing weaving, and then went on to another manufacturer. And there, uh, he learned how to um, program the designs into into a, a loom, um, how to to mix your threads and your your wools. And, if you're sure of that mouse thing back and forth uh, through the uh, through the loom, you get those beautiful designs that you see woven into the blankets and uh, fine fabrics and such. Um, he's a skilled craftsman. Uh, I think he was happy doing that, but um, God called him to do something more. Um, he started feeling the urge uh, to become a priest, and he had only had kind of an elementary school education and then this apprenticeship, um, but he, he pursued this. Um, managed to get himself educated and even ordained. Um, and then he, he felt that God was calling him to a, a specific kind of vocation. Uh, so he went uh, uh, to the Jesuit and uh, entered the Jesuit novitiate, um, but got sick uh, during his novitiate. And, uh, Thomas Master dismissed him from the novitiate, figuring his health would never stand up to the rigors of the Jesuit life. Um, so he went to the Carthusian to live uh, a strict monastic life. And again, his ill health uh, convinced the Carthusians that he just wasn't strong enough to, to bear this kind of a life. Um, and uh, uh, when you see Human prudential judgment measured up against God's prudential judgment. Um, uh, probably God had something other in store for him because um, this man who was too weak to, to make it through uh, Jesuit studies or Carthusian uh, study uh, uh, was strong enough to be sent as a missionary to the Canary Islands um, and uh, back to Spain where he became kind of a renowned uh, uh, preacher and missioner and uh, was uh, selected uh, and ordained a bishop and sent to Cuba to take over the diocese of Santiago, uh, Cuba, uh, and there really to reform the church because Cuba was, um, uh, the church was kind of lax there. And uh, they sent uh, uh, Anthony there to, to get the faith going again. And he visited every single uh, parish and institutions they had. He started, he founded schools, uh, hospitals, um, uh, did all this stuff. But, you know, he was too weak, to, too sickly to uh, carry on a vigorous life. Um, uh, even had an assassination attempt uh, on his life. Uh, uh, a crazed uh, guy from as long as some Freemason Lodge came to eradicate this this priest from their midst and uh, slashed his face and his arm uh, with a knife um, uh, in an attempt to kill him. Uh, uh, others subdued the man who was uh, hauled off to, to court, sentenced to death, and uh, Anthony Mary Claret uh, uh, pleaded his appeal that he not be executed for this and had his uh, uh, execution order terminated. Uh, commuted to a, a prison term. 
um, was called back uh, to Spain um, and uh, uh, was starting to gain renown for uh, his teaching and his writing. Um, in the course of his life, he published 144 books, wrote 144 books, published thousands because he started a publishing company as well. Um, he decided this missionary work is so important uh, that he, he started a uh, uh, wanted to start an order of missionaries, um, and so he uh, he started gathering uh, men to himself and founded uh, what was known formally as the Congregation of, the, of Missionary Sons of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Even for a Spaniard, that's a lot to say. Um, uh, so they came to be known simply as the Claration, uh, following Anthony Clara. And uh, the order continues to this day. There's 3,000 Clarations around the world doing uh, missionary work, uh, largely in uh, a lot of Spanish uh, speaking areas, uh, very big in Latin America and in, in the United States, actually, in, in uh, uh, Spanish speaking area. Anthony Clara lived what our reading um, gave us today. Um, Paul, in, in uh, his letter to Ephesus, he's been, uh, first he's been correcting them on uh, what they should stop doing. Uh, today he's telling them what they should do, uh, how they should live. Uh, and he sometimes he says, love one another, um, forgive one another, um, cherish one another. We certainly saw that in, in Anthony's life as he uh, you know, was uh, able to even forgive a uh, would-be assassin who came very close to succeeding in that. I'm not sure how quickly I would be pleading the guy's case uh, if it had been me, but, uh, but he did. Um, uh, in terms of evangelizing the, uh, the world, he, he put it. He did his work, uh, the way we see in, in our gospel today. Um, Jesus cures this woman who's been possessed by a demon for 18 years that kept her bent over. Uh, uh, she could not, never straighten up. She walked like this, um, 18 years of that. And uh, Jesus does it, and it's almost humorous. The, the synagogue official sees this happen, and, the first thing that comes to his mind is he's violated the third commandment. God's law to keep holy the Sabbath. He can do nothing on the Sabbath. So he, he doesn't admonish Jesus. He admonishes the crowd. You've got six days. You can come to be cured. Why, why are you presenting yourselves for cure on the Sabbath? The poor guy was so wrapped up in, in being uh, in, in line with, uh, with the law. And he missed the bigger point that was going on. He had the Son of God in his midst, freeing a woman from the power of evil, from, uh, from one of Satan's demons, um, restoring her to, to, to her life. Um, and uh, this, you know, cures come from God, they don't come from magic or. Uh, other things, the kind of thing. This was God's action, and He's so worried that we're not keeping God's day holy. And, and maybe He teaches us a lesson. Um, he says, you know, look at the bigger picture. Um, uh, do what is practically good. And, you know, Jesus is rebuttal to him. On the Sabbath, you want, you want to tie your livestock and bring them out to the trough so they, they can drink. You know, they, always, they would position these things that there were a certain number of steps not to violate uh, walking too far, uh, which would be then be considered work. But uh, he's saying, you know, uh, God's law was created for you. We're not created for him. Um, rejoice in, in God's presence. Um, that's what Anthony Mary Clara did. Uh, he served as uh, one of the principal theologians of the First Vatican Council, instrumental in the, 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 the decree on patent infallibility. 
um, uh, they sent you know, countless uh, missionaries out to the world to bring that good news. And, and that's what we celebrate today. Let's gather our prayers and bring them before our God. Jesus and Paul told us to love one another. Um, loving one another brings peace, and so we pray for peace in our world. This we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the church in gratitude for God's word and God's sacraments, uh, God's saints, uh, especially men like Miss St. Anthony Claret. We pray to the Lord. Lord Pray for our nation, ask that God watch over it, uh, guide our leaders with his wisdom, and watch over and protect those charged with our safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray. pray for our ministry of Catholic education, a ministry begun by Mary and Joseph and Jesus, continuing uh, through people like Anthony Claret and going on here at St. Francis today. We pray to the Lord. Lord I pray for the repose of the soul of Leroy Stat, who was uh, one of my uh, brother knights in my uh, Knights of Columbus Lodge in Chicago, who's gone to God, that God may welcome him, bring comfort to his family and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. We ask for God's healing for Connor Regan and Mr. Mayday, uh, for Mrs. Ritchie, uh, uh, and all of those in need of God's healing graces. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Yeah. For your intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our seniors on retreat, or on the service floor, that you can help them see the value of service and see that you need to stay in their lives. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we come before you, bringing you our hopes and desires. These we've given voice, others we hold silently in our hearts, but all of them we offer to you through your Son, Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, that will become our spiritual life. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on this feast day of Saint Anthony Claret, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now do. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through your Son, Jesus our Lord. For as on the feast of St. Anthony Claret, you bid your church rejoice. 
So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayer. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your pray, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, God of hold your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Hey, holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, that this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jeffrey, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clair, St. Anthony, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, to raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity. And according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And so the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a greeting with God's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold whom he takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, don't say the word of God, so May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which St. Anthony Mary Clareth never ceased to labor, and for which he spent his whole life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, those who knew him well, uh, uh, including many of the fathers of the First Vatican Council, said uh, they never saw him without a rosary in his hand, um, day and night, so he had that, and since he dedicated his, his order to Our Lady. Um, we've been praying for souls in purgatory. Over here is a, a book, uh, to remember, uh, it was departed uh, from our families, friends, acquaintances, uh, write their names in, and we will pray for all of them uh, through the month of November, which just starts a week from tomorrow, that's all. Uh, we're getting there. The Lord be with you. May hey, Almighty God bless you. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.